Teed up once again and ready to go. Glad you can join us, everyone. This is Series 152, and as we've been doing for every series we play, we randomly pick two teams from the history of the game. All teams are eligible and get a matchup that will intrigue and excite. We've seen some very, very entertaining series through uh, the 151 that we've played so far, and we roll along with 152, and you're going to enjoy this one because we are bringing into the mix one of those huge what if what if teams in the history of baseball one of those teams that everybody wonders just what could have happened uh if the season kept going in 1994 and i'm talking specifically the randomizer has choose chosen the 1994 montreal expos and victims of that strike shortened season in 94 the expos were the best team in baseball 74 and 40 and we now bring him back for a best of seven series and let's introduce him and look at him a little bit closer. The best Expos team of all time, uh, the best record in the league, and a lot of hope, potential, you name it, when the dark cloud of the strike came in 94 and took away their dreams for a championship and left millions of fans wondering what could have been. Let's look at the team. You can see here, Recent Hall of Famer Larry Walker in right field hit 322, 19 long balls, 394 on base. Uh, he was joined by Moises Alou, who was in his prime. He hit 339, folks, with 22 homers and 78 RBIs. Keep in mind, this season ended after about 110 games. Uh, so these numbers are pretty amazing if you think about them in, in those terms of, say, August, when uh, the season came to a close. You got Cliff Floyd there at only 21 at first base. He hit 281. Marquise Grissom, the speedster at the top of the lineup, 288. He stole 36 bases, scored 96 runs, and we're still talking August. Um, so he was uh, a big factor also defensively. Uh, Darren Fletcher, good catcher. Lansing and Cordero up the middle. Uh, we have here uh, Rondell White. You can see on the bench at only 22. He didn't get into too many games, but he can be a part of it. Sean Berry at third base. And then going to the pitching, you can see here how good it got for this team. Ken Hill, 16-5, a 332 ERA in 154 innings. He was on his way to maybe a Cy Young award-winning season. And there's 22-year-old Pedro Martinez coming into his own, his career starting. Martinez had a good, good season for a young kid, 11-5 in his 23 starts, uh, one shutout. Did a little bit of bullpen work, but struck out 142 and only 144 innings. So Pedro already proving what the potential was there. Jeff Vicero at 31 also got 21 starts. And Butch Henry, uh, part of the rotation of the top four. John Wetland, Mel Rojas, Gil Heredia. The bullpen for this Expos team was really, really something to behold. Wetland, of course, the leader with 25 saves. He was one of the best closers at that time for sure. And the manager, of course, Felipe Alou, who had this team clicking. The chemistry was there. Olympic Stadium was on fire. Um, we all know what happens to the Expos eventually as the franchise is moved and basically folded. And this was really in their run from the late 60s to the early 2000s, the best Expo teams that the best Expo team that the Montreal fans had seen. So I'm excited to get them to be part of this. They are going to be drawn in a best of seven series. And important who they get in the draw, of course, this team's going to come out from the 1930s. It is the 1932 Philadelphia Phillies. And actually, not a terrible team, 78 and 76. They had a winning record under Burt Schotten. They finished fourth in the National League. So uh, it could have been a worse draw for the Expos, but uh, could have been better as well because this is not a terrible team and a, a team that could do some damage. Let's look at some of the names on this club. Don Hurst hit 339 for this team. He hit 24 homers and 143 RBIs. You can see the production from Hurst there at first base. Chuck Klein, another underrated, unheralded player, 348 here in this 1932 season. He drove in 137. And Pinky Whitney, 124 RBIs, he hit 298, 13 home runs. By the way, Klein had 38 long balls. Those three players alone with the RBI totals the way they were, you can see 
the heart of the lineup and how good this club really was at the plate. Spud Davis, the catcher, also very good. 70 RBIs for him. He hit 336. Dick Bartell at 308. Um, 53 RBIs coming from him. Kiddo Davis, he stole 16 bases, hit 309. Hal Lee at 303. You see the trend here with the high averages. Um, seven out of the nine there. I'm sorry, six out of the eight there over 300. On base percentage is high and their run totals high. You see here four players with over 100 runs, and Chuck Klein with 152. So this offense really, really had the potential, potential to do some damage. Very, very good. Very underrated. May not know a lot of the names, but boy, did they produce in the early 30s. Obviously, uh, the run scoring era that that was really made a difference. So as you can guess, the pitching, not as strong, and maybe it was a little bit of a, of a Achilles heel for this team. Ed Holly, 11 and 14, he got the most innings at 228, 395 for him. Ray Bengi, Bengi at 405, he actually, um, at 30 years old, had a decent year. Uh, they both allowed 15 long balls. Snipe Hansen had uh, 23 starts as well, 372, not a bad ERA for him. And Flint Rem, 20 starts, as well as Jumbo Elliott at 31 years old, he got. Uh, 22 starts. So you see there we have five pitchers getting a lot of action, a lot of innings, and Phil Collins among that group as well, you can say, although he did pitch out of the pen, even got three saves. Uh, Collins, 14 and 12 on the year uh, with 184 innings. Hal Elliott, Jack Burley, uh, Reggie Grabowski, some of the other names on the pitching staff. Um, not terrible, as I said before, but also the offense was actually very impressive when you dig into the numbers of how uh, they could score runs, pile up runs, and come through uh, with runners on base. So not an easy draw for the Expos by any means. This is a sneaky good team, I would say. The 1932 Philadelphia Phillies getting ready now to face the 94 Expos. I think it's a good matchup. I think it's going to be a great series and especially intriguing, of course, to see the Expos in action. The best of seven, the home team being the Expos. They will host the first two in Montreal before we head out to Philadelphia for the middle portion, uh, before, uh, if necessary, coming back again to Montreal. It's a best of seven. Everything's ready to go. Let's take a look at game one and the starters. Ed Holly for the Phillies will go up against 22-year-old Pedro Martinez. Philippe Lee going with the youngster as the ace. Uh, over Ken Hill for game number one. So Martinez and all his confidence as a young kid here, uh, willing to take chances, challenge hitters, going up against a very, very good Phillies offense. So excited to get it rolling, excited to get going here. Let's get out to the first pitch and play ball. Going live to the Olympic Stadium. It's game one of this best of seven, the 32 Philadelphia Phillies against the 1994 Montreal Expos. So Olympic Stadium here in Montreal for the action. We are scoreless in the third inning. Sean Barry's the hitter at the plate against Adahali. Nobody on, one, two pitch. This ball's drilled to center field. It's got some carry to the wall. Looking up over the fence. That center field home run for Barry. It's one to nothing, Montreal. They get on the board here on the solo home run. Deep to center field. 430 feet for the first runs of this ball game. We move to the fourth inning. Runners on the corners. Now nobody out. Don Hurst, the hitter. We got a rally here for the visitors. Trying to get on the scoreboard here against Martinez. But there's a strike three pitch on the inside corner. So Martinez gets a strikeout. And now Spud Davis, the hitter. Remember how explosive this offense could be. But this one's hit to center. On the run out there to make the play is going to be Grissom. The runner will tag. Here's the throw. Not in time. The ball hit well deep enough to score the run. And this is a 1-1 ball game. To the bottom of the fifth, two outs, run around second for Martinez, who will hit for himself. Martinez lines a single to left. He comes through with two outs. Runner's going to try to score. Here's the throw. Cut off. Pedro Martinez gets it done with the bat. Two to one now, Expos. To 
the sixth inning. No Davis, the hitter, to lead off the inning. And Davis will line one in the right. That'll be a base hit off of Martinez, who's been good today. But that single came on it as an unexpected event. That drove in a run. And here's Dick Martell with the man on. Martell lines this one to right. Coming in hard to make the play is going to be Walker. We move now top of the seventh. It's a 2-1 game. Hal Lee, the pitcher, as Tim Scott is coming in relief. Blue makes a pitching change, and this is hit to third. Bobbled over there at third base. It's going to be an error. Barry boots it. Big error there with one out. And that gives a chance here to the Phillies. Key Whitney, the hitter. And Whitney's going to hit this one to Walker. Walker coming on. He should have it. He does. Second out of the inning. Remember, one of the strengths of this Expo team is their bullpen. Here's Freiburg with two outs and the man on. Freiburg hits it in front of the plate. That's going to be a tough play. It is an infield hit for Freiburg. So first and second here. Two outs. Two to one ball game. And Ed Holly, the pitcher, has a chance. He takes ball for a big walk there. Walking the pitcher. Loading the bases with two outs. Trouble here in this ballgame for Montreal. Let's see what Kiddo Davis can do. Tim Scott remains in the game. 2-2 two -two pitch. This is line. Two right field. One run's going to score. Davis ties the game on a two-out hit. Two right. And it's 2-2 two -to -two now. Not done yet. Bartell, the hitter. Bill has the bases loaded. And this is hit to center field. It's going to drop. No, a nice play by the second baseman. We hit the seventh inning stretch, Lansing with the play, but we are now tied at two. Bottom of the seventh as the stretch is playing. Mike Lansing is the hitter with the man on. Holly still the pitcher. This is hit to second. This will be a twin killing. Started from second base. So the game remains tied at two. We move now to the eighth inning. Chuck Klein, the hitter. And this ball's ripped to left field. That's going to be a fair ball going down the line. And it's going to be Klein who gets a double. He beats the throw. So a leadoff double here for Chuck Klein in the eighth inning. Klein now at third. Still nobody out. And Don Hurst, the hitter. They'll hit this to center field. Coming on strong is Grissom. Runner will tag. Here's the throw. It's going to be late. A sacrifice fly. Grissom's throw is no good. Klein is safe. It's 3-2 to two Phillies. Ali now the hitter with two outs. Jeff Shaw has come in. This one's hit softly, and it's going to be an infield hit. The eighth hit for Philadelphia, and Key Whitney's the hitter. Whitney will pop this one up. Catcher should have it in foul territory. He does. But the sacrifice fly puts Philadelphia up 3-2. to two. As we head now to the bottom of the eighth. Lenny Webster, the pinch hitter. 3-2 count. Probably still in the game. This one's hit, however, into the hole. That's going to be a base hit. So Webster comes through there. And Marquise Grissom, the hitter, as the Expos try to rally. There's a bunt. It's a good one. Grissom's thrown out at first on a close play, but the runner does advance to second base. So we got a high run on second. Cliff Floyd at the plate. A new pitcher in Reggie Grabowski. And here's a liner to center. Great play by the center fielder. Davis makes a play to save a run and keep the lead for Philadelphia. Great defensive play by Kiddo Davis. Boise Salou still has a chance. Alou takes ball four. They pitch around Alou to get to Larry Walker. Maybe not intentionally, but Walker's the man of the moment now. And he hits it to center field. It's a base hit. Runner round in third. He's going to try to score. We are tied at three. Larry Walker with a clutch two out single to center field. And the Expos pick themselves up. In this game and now Grabowski's got to put the fire out as Will Cordero's up there. Two on, and Cordero lines it to right. Base hit. Runner's going to round third. The Expos take the lead here in the eighth inning. 
With a two-out rally, they plate two runs to take a 4-3 lead. Cordero pumps through. And here's Darren Fletcher. The inning continues. Fletcher rips it. That's just fair. Now in the right field corner. That's going to plate two, I think. One run in. It's going to be a triple. And two-run score. Six to three, Montreal. They've broken it open here in the eighth inning. Entering the inning, they were losing. Now they got a cushion of a lead. They put five up on the board here in the eighth. We move to the ninth as Mel Rojas pitching against the stunned Phillies with two outs, a 2 2 pitch. Hit to center field. Grissom moving over. He's got it. The Expos take game one, seven to three, and it was all done. In the eighth inning with that big, big rally, they come from behind to take the opener of this series and salvage any embarrassment. Sean Barry, four for four in this one, a double and a home run, two RBIs. Pedro Martinez went six, six innings, struck out eight in only six, but he left the game without the lead for sure. Ed Holly probably deserved better. He got into some trouble. He was pulled in that fateful Eighth inning, he didn't even get a chance to make an out. And the bullpen for Philadelphia indeed fell apart. Grabowski especially taking the hard loss and a tough loss for the Phillies, who had that 3-2 to two lead in the eighth and saw it wither away. Two errors for Montreal as well. Cost them early, but not late as they ended up taking it. So a very exciting game one. The favorites, with their backs against the wall, rallied to win the first game of the series. So that st sets up game number two as the excitement is going to continue here. Ray Bengi is going to go up against Jeff Facero. The Phillies seem like they made business, even if they dropped that one late. Let's see if they can rebound now in game two. Or will the Expos not mess around and take care of business as well in game two to move up 2-0 before we head to Philadelphia? A crucial game, game number two coming up. Between the Expos and the Phillies, let's go live to Montreal for Game 2 action. Game 2 from Olympic Stadium. Top of the first inning, we have Jeff Facero on the hill. Phil Davis, the hitter. And Davis lines one to center field. That'll get over the head of the center fielder. So Kiddo Davis has a chance here for extra bases. He lead off, leads off the game with a double. Nothing comes of it, however. In the bottom of the first now, two outs, two on. Will Cordero, the hitter, against Ray Bengi. And this ball's hit up the middle. It's going to be a single. Run around in third. Here comes the throw. It's going to be late, and it's one to nothing. Expos, they take the lead in the very first inning on the Cordero RBI single. To the third, we got Freiburg on second. He was back at the plate. One out. One pitch, and this is lined in the gap in right. That's going to score a run and get down to the wall. Davis is going to have a triple, and this is one to one here in the third inning. The Phillies come right back and score. On him third, Larry Walker with a man on and one out, full count. This ball is lifted to right field. It'll drop in there. A base hit. The native Canadian comes through, and here's Cordero again. One out, two on. This is hit to second, picked up and played into a double play. Cordero hits into a twin killing. The game remains tied at one. Fourth inning now. He Whitney up there with the man on second, two outs. And Whitney hits one into the hole. That'll get through there. Run around in third. Here comes the throw. Gonna be late. And the Phillies take the lead here in the fourth inning. Two to one on the RBI single. To the fifth we go. Grissom's the hitter to lead off the inning. And Grissom will stroke a single to center field. So speed on the bases for Montreal. Cliff Floyd the hitter. Floyd goes to left. Plane shot the other way. So first and second. Here come the Expos again. Nobody's out. And a low the hitter. 
Oh, strikes out. Looking. Nice pitch there. A fastball. Blue doesn't strike out very often, so there you have it. Here's Larry Walker with one out. Walker strikes out. So back-to-back -back strikeouts here. And it's down to Will Cordero again. Ray Bengi pitching very well there against the two best hitters maybe in the lineup. And Cordero, he'll hit it to short. Scooped up and played. So a very nice job there by the Phillies getting out of the frame and holding on to this 2-1 to one lead. We'll move to the seventh. Heiberg is the hitter. Gil Heredia is the pitcher. And we have an error. An error by the third baseman. Barry makes his second error of the series. And Heathcote is the hitter with two on and one out. Heathcote hits it to second, however. There's the double play. And the Expos turn in the twin killing. Seventh inning stretch in Montreal. It is two to one, the visitors. Cliff Floyd will come up with two outs in the seventh. And Floyd goes deep to right. Way back. This could tie the game. No, it is caught out there deep by Klein. So the 2-1 score remains. To the eighth inning we go. Rojas has come in the pitch. And there's a single. Bartel gets on. And it's Chuck Klein now. Against Rojas. Klein. In there into left field. So first and second. One out. The Phillies looking to build on their lead here. Malin's the hitter. And this is lying to center field. That's going to get down. Run around in third. Insurance run for the Phillies. Les Malin comes through. It's 3-1 to one now. We move to the bottom of the eighth. Blue. Jason Grabowski who we saw in game one. He had issues in game one, and this time he walks a lose. So yesterday, the Expos had a huge eighth inning. They're hoping, obviously, for more of the same. Here's Larry Walker. Walker hits it deep to right. That ball's going to get down there, up against the wall. So it's second and third. Nobody out. Here come the Expos again. And Cordero with a hitter. And Liska's come on the pitch, trying to put out the fire. But they walk. Cordero, and now the bases are loaded. Nobody out. Aaron Fletcher the hitter. Three to one ball game. And this one's hit on a liner up against the wall. It is going to be multiple runs here for the Expos. They've done it again. Klein's throw is not even close to get the runner, and it's a two-run double by Darren Fletcher. We are tied at three, and not even close to being finished yet. Mike Lansing up there with the bases loaded. Lansing hits it to second. Play at the plate. They make it relay to first, not in time, so they keep the game tied here at three. And walk. Webster's the hitter. Webster strikes out on the one-two pitch. So the Phillies hoping to get out of this thing with a 3-3 tie. It's up to Marquise Grissom here with two outs. An 0-2 pitch into the hole. Played by the shortstop. He'll make the play. And 3-3 three three is our score. As the Expos do come back, they get two runs in the inning. Could have been a lot worse for Philly, so they'll take the 3-3 three three game. And John Wetland has come on the pitch. Pinky Whitney now the hitter in the ninth. Two count. There's a strikeout. Wetland gets Whitney looking. Two outs now for Heathcote. Heathcote hits it back to the mound. Wetland makes the play. We move to the bottom of the ninth. 3-3 three, three tie. Whisk is still pitching. And here's Cliff Floyd to lead off the ninth inning. This ball is roped into right field for a base hit. So the winning runs on. Cliff Floyd on first base. Good speed on the bases. Here's a Lou. Phil Collins has come in the pitch. And this ball's hit. As good as a bunt. It's an infield single. 
no throw was made, and we got runners on first and second with nobody out for Larry Walker. What a pickle the Phillies are in now. Walker hits it into the hole. That ball gets through. Run around in third. Here comes the throw. Walk off hit. Larry Walker expos. Win game two. Four to three in the bottom of the ninth inning. Coming from behind again. They break the hearts of the Phillies. Doing it again. This time it's Larry Walker with the walk-off single. And the run at the plate just beats the throw. Cliff Floyd coming in the score. And it is over, folks. Two games to none now. The Expos lead. They come from behind again, just like they did in game one, to win it. No decision for Jeff Facero or Ray Bengi. We had Wetland with the win. Liska the loss. Moises Alou, three for four. He scored a run. And Jeff Facero came in and did a nice job as a starter. He's the player of the game. But really, it came down to Larry Walker, who won it in the ninth inning with an RBI single. And in the eighth, it was the Expos who rallied again to come from behind. The Phillies' bullpen just not getting the job done here in this series so far. Two games that they had a real chance to win, and they lost it late both times. So the series 2-0 in Montreal will move now to Philadelphia for the middle portion. The Phillies at least are being competitive. You can say that much about it. But they are still down on the big scoreboard, two games to zero. And now you really need to rally and close out these ball games as we head into the middle portion. Butch Henry will take the mound for Montreal, and Snipe Hansen is the man the Phillies will try to do the job with and get a win on the board in this series. Two games to none, the Expos lead. We are now in Philadelphia. Let's head out to the 1930s and the Phillies and Shy Park for this ball game. Between the Expos and the Phillies, again, it's two to nothing so far, the favorites out in front. So actually the Baker Bowl is the setting for game number three. And we lead off here in the first inning with a Lou up there against Snipe Hansen with two outs. Beautiful setting here in Philadelphia. And this ball is drilled deep to left field at the wall. Home run solo variety. Moises Salou deep to left field. One to nothing exposed. They break out on top. We move bottom of the frame here now. The Home team with threat, Spud Davis has a chance, and he lines a single to center field. One runs in. Another man's going to score. Throw to the plate, actually, is going to be in time. They get the runner sliding in. The first leadoff, or the first run scores, but the second run trying to make a play at home, and the throw on the money. So this game remains tied at one. We move to the second. Great play there by Marquise Grissom. And Barry now the hitter with a man on second. And Barry goes to right field. That ball gets through. Here comes another runner trying to score. Two to nothing, Expos. Two to one, I should say. Just when you think you got this Expo team down, they come back and score again. We move bottom of the second. Here come the Phillies now. Sec or two men on, first and third, with Hanson, the pitcher, at the plate. And the pitcher comes through with a single to center field. That's going to tie the game at two. So right back at it are the Phillies. They tie this ball game. Snipe Hansen comes through. And Kittle Davis now with a chance to do even more damage with only one out. He hits it to second, but that might be two. It is. So single runs for each team in the frames of the two innings we've played so far, 2-2 two is the tie. We've moved forward to the sixth, still 2-2. Two two. Cliff Floyd facing Phil Collins to lead off the sixth. And this ball's outside, so Floyd's going to be on first base. He scored the winning run in game two. And a lose the hitter. A lose laid on that one, and he strikes out for the first out of the inning. Larry Walker now the hitter. Full count, here it comes. There's ball four, so that pitch just misses. Collins didn't like the call, but Will Cordero now the man who can do the damage. Cordero flies to center field. That should be playable. 
It is. So the runners hold second and first here with two outs for Darren Fletcher. Fletcher will line a single to right field. Let's see if they send the runner. They will. Here comes the throw. It's going to be late. Fletcher with an RBI single, and it is three to two Montreal. They take the lead in this one. Bottom of the seventh. Henry still in this game. Facing now Whitney. A little bit of desperation here now for the Phils. And there's a shot to left. That'll roll all the way to the wall. Whitney's going to head to second with a one-out double. The Phillies really need this ball game. And that Whitney double now opens the opportunity here for Freiburg. He'll line a shot to left, but on the run to make the play. The left fielder is there. Alou gets it, so that's two outs. And Malin, the hitter. Malin will pop it up, but that should be playable out there to Larry Walker. So the 3-2 advantage for Montreal remains. We're into the eighth inning. Larry Walker now, the hitter. Walker will line this one to left. That's going to be a base hit. But we'll move bottom of the eighth now. The home team down a run. You know, Davis now at the plate. Henry's still in this game. The left-hander delivers, and Davis will line this one hard, but right there is Walker up against the wall. He makes the play. Two outs now for Klein. Full count. This ball's hit to center field on the run. And it is gone. Home run gets just over the wall. Chuck Klein brings his team back and ties things up at three. Opposite field, a long one for Klein, and a clutch one. It is 3-3 now as Hunhurst is at the plate against Henry. Klein turns this game around, and this one's going to be dumped in the left field for a hit. So all of a sudden, the Phillies starting to believe. Spud Davis, the hitter, full count. There's the runner going. Base hit. Runner will move to third. So second and third now. Two outs. We're in the eighth inning. We got a tie game at three. All of these games have been competitive. Mel Rojas has come on to face Hal Lee in a big spot. Let's see if he can come through. Line drive to right. That's going to drop in there for a hit. It's going to be extra bases. And the Phillies turn the table here. They score twice in the eighth to take the lead in this game. An RBI double. And now it's the ninth inning, 4-3 our game. Liska's come on to try to close it. Aaron Fletcher, the hitter, ninth inning. And Liska walks the first batter. Not really what you want to do here. Sean Berry now at the plate. He strikes out, so Liska picks himself up a little bit with a strikeout. Mike Lansing, the hitter. I run on the bases. This one's hit softly to third. No play to be made. So the Expos coming right back here. They got runners second and third. Make it bases loaded for Marquise Grissom. Only one out. Flint Rem the pitcher. And it is four to three. The Phillies lead in a very precarious position. A full count pitch now coming to Grissom. And Grissom lines a single to center field. That'll get in there. One runs in. Throw to the plate. Montreal scores two on the Grissom single. And they now take the lead. Coming from behind with two outs in the ninth. Or actually, one out in the ninth. To take a 5-4 to four lead. Unbelievable. Here comes John Wetland now to try to close it out for the Expos. They did it again, folks. The Expos coming back late. This one's hit to short. A nice play there by the shortstop. Bell makes the play. Freiburg is cut down. Here's Brickett. Wetland delivers. This ball's hit to first. Nice play there. Milligan makes the play, and it's down now to Kiddo Davis, who's facing Wetland. And this ball's popped up. Should end the ball game. Coming in is Grissom. He has it. Another win for the Expos. They win their third in a row. And now take a commanding three to game to nothing lead in this best of seven series. And they've won all three of the games in come from behind fashion. This one more dramatic than any of them. 
After they had the lead in the eighth, the Expos let it get away as the Phillies took the lead. But in the ninth, with their backs against the wall, they come in back and put two on the board in the ninth and then are able to close it out to get a 5-4 win. Snipe Hansen, he even drove in a run, but it wasn't enough. Darren Fletcher, two for three with a double, two runs scored. Butch Henry pitched well early. Uh, for the most part, he did allow four in runs. Ro Rojas gets the win. Wetland gets the save. And Liska let it go in the ninth for his second loss of this series. And this one, folks, was a real heartbreaker for the home team after they thought they came from behind uh, for good on the Klein homer that tied the game. And then Hal Lee had given his team the lead. But in the ninth, it was the Marquise Grissom RBI hit that scored two runs and turned the game on its head. And that's been the story for the entire series. All three of the games, down late, the Expos have come back and won each time. Pretty impressive. A lot of confidence. And the Phillies bullpen has just let their team down. And now it's all set up for a possible sweep. Ken Hill will take the mound for the Expos to try to end it on the road and see if they can make short work of the Phillies. Jumbo Elliott will take them out for the home team. It's a matter of pride, you would think, now for the Phillies. Down three games to none. Can they put up any kind of fight here? They've been competitive in all the ball games, but have come up short. Sometimes heartbreak is just too much to take, and they might not be in a position to actually fight back. But let's find out. To the Baker Bowl one more time. Game number four. Expos and Phillies, let's head out to the action and get things started. Second inning action, Chuck Klein at the plate against Ken Hill. And Klein lists this one deep to left field, the opposite field. Long one is gone for Klein. He goes the other way. Two run for two run for the first game for Philadelphia. They get off to the start that they need. Seems like maybe some of the pressure is off. Bernie Freiburg now up in the second inning. And Freiburg's going to line this one all the way to the wall. Runner heading the third. He's going to try to score. He will. Three and nothing, Phillies. Freiburg with an RBI double to the fifth inning now. Jumbo Elliott has been great. Here's Sean Berry with the man on. 3-1 count. This one's popped up. And it's going to drop in there. So that's going to be a hit. A little bit of miscommunication there by the first and second baseman. And now Montreal has a chance with Mike Lansing at the dish. Lansing will pop this one up. Coming on over is the first baseman. He'll get there. Hurst makes the play. One out. We'll move to the bottom of the fifth now. Don Hurst up there. It's a 3-0 game. And Hill goes to first. And Hurst gets all of this one deep to right. Looking up to the wall. Home run for Hurst. 5 to nothing, Philadelphia. They've woken up here in game four and are stunning and pushing back on the Expos. Two to six, two outs, runners on the corners. Elliott in a bit of a jam. This ball's hit deep to left all the way on the track. Three run home run. Will Cordero takes Elliott deep and it is five to three now, a big blow. And you would expect it. The Expos making a comeback here. To the seventh with two out. Marquise Grissom, the hitter. Runner going. This one's hit past the diving first baseman. Runner will move to third. So the tying runs on the base now, bases now for the Expos. Cliff Floyd facing Flint Rem, who's come in relief. Two outs. And this one's hit hard. The left and down it goes. One run's going to score. Another run coming in. Throw to the plate's going to be late. And we have a tie game thanks to the Cliff Floyd double. The Expos come back once again. They've been doing it all series long. 
And now Alou with a chance to put his team up. But he will strike out on a check swing. We hit the seventh inning stretch. Tie game. The Expos come all the way back here. And the Phillies got to be wondering what they can do to possibly pick up a win. Dick Bartell now facing Dave Dennis Butcher. And Bartell's going to hit it all the way to the wall. So he'll make a play here. He'll get to second. Leadoff double. Chuck Klein, the hitter. Klein's going to go to center field. This will be playable, should be. And it is. Throw to third. Runner's going to beat the throw. So we've got a runner on third. One out. Tie ball game for Spud Davis. Davis hits it to left field. Let's see if the runner's going to tag. Catch is made. Runner will hold. He doesn't risk it. Alou gets the ball back in. So two outs for Hal Lee. Runners on the corners. And Lee will line this right up the middle. He's going to give Philly the lead. Hal Lee with the clutch RBI single here in the seventh. Six to five, our score. Moving to the eighth now. Will the Expos come back yet again? Let's see if Phil Collins can slow them down. Larry Walker, the hitter, and he strikes out there on a pitch outside. So that's a big K. Juan Bell, the hitter. Bell hits it to third, scooped up there like a vacuum, and the play's made by Whitney. So that'll end the eighth inning. 6 5 game. Bottom of the eighth now, Rojas into pitch. And here's a liner to left field. It's going to be a single. to the ninth now and Liska again on in relief trying to hold off the Expo Sean Barry the hitter it's a one run ball game Liska delivers this ball's hit too short play will be made there that's the first out of the inning Bartell with a nice play from the outfield grass Mike Lansing now up there Lansing will hit this one on a fly. Coming in the right fielder with a nice play. Getting off of his feet. Heathcote makes the catch. Two outs now. Lenny Webster. Pops it up. And this one might be caught. It will drop actually. So the Expos will get the tying run on the bases. And Grissom has a chance to do keep this game alive but he strikes out looking and that'll do it the Phillies finally get a victory after blowing a five run lead they get the win when they score again in the seventh and finally their pen holds up to survive in this series and avoid the sweep Don Hurst two for three with a homer two RBIs Cordero he had three RBIs including a long three run shot for the Expos and Elliott Pitched six innings there. He allowed three earned runs. Rem gets the win. Butcher the loss. Liska finally gets the save. He's had a rough series up until this point. And Philadelphia salvages one game at least. Making the series now three games to one. As we get ready for game five. Another game at the Baker Bowl. To see if the Expos can wrap it up. And they're going to send their ace. Pedro Martinez will take the mound here in game number five against Ed Holly. It's a rematch of game one, which the Expos won seven to three coming from behind there. So let's see if the Phillies can build any momentum and if they can force the series back to Montreal with a win here. The Expos would love to wrap it up and they got the arm you would think to do it. Martinez to take the mound for the Expos. Let's head out for game five and see if the Phils can really make a fight out of it. The Baker Bowl is the setting. Let's head out to the action. So to lead off the game, we got Marquise Grissom against Ed Holly. Top of the first inning. Game number five of this world of this series. Holly delivers. And Grissom starts the game well for the Expos. He'll go into the gap. So Marquise Grissom has a double to lead off the game. Expos definitely want to get on top early and give their ace the lead if possible. 
And they're in great shape here with the bases loaded. Two outs. Darren Fletcher at the plate. A huge spot in this game. Holly trying to get out of the inning. Here's the pitch. This ball's hit to second, and they will do just that. The Expos leave the bases loaded in the first inning. Nice escape by Holly and the Phils. We'll move to the second. Mike Lansing up there with nobody out and one on. This is hit the third. Play made at second. Relay to first. Double play. That's what the doctor ordered there. We move bottom on the second. Two on for Pinky Whitney. One out. Strike out there as Martinez gets him swinging. On the 2-2 pitch. So, tell the hitter with a man on second. Full count. This one's outside. Martinez walks him. So, a chance here to scratch first. Klein, the hitter in the third inning. Two on. Klein will get this one up the middle, but that's right to the second baseman. Double play there by the Expos, and that will do it in the third. We remain scoreless. 0-0 zero, zero here in game five. John Hurst, the hitter, fourth inning, leading it off. And this ball's hit very well to center field, all the way to the wall, and Hurst goes deep. A solo home run off Pedro Martinez to open the scoring here in this ball game. One to nothing, Philly. That ball carried well out over the right center field wall. And it is one nothing as we move to the sixth now. Cliff Floyd's on second base for Alou. One out. This ball's lifted. Knuckled into center field. Going to be caught out there. So catch is made. We'll move to the bottom of the sixth now. Still a one nothing game. Jeff Shaw has come in in relief. Only four hits in this game so far. That this one's hit very well to right field to the wall. Goodbye, home run. Don Hurst goes low, goes deep again. His third home run of the series. It is two to nothing now in favor of Philly. They get in the big insurance run that they need, and we move to the eighth. This is a one hitter, folks. Add Holly on top of his game. That one hit was to lead off the game by Grissom. He's put down everybody since then, and look at Grissom do this now. Deep to left field. Way out of here. Home run. Marquise Grissom. It is a 2-1 to -one game. Grissom now has both hits in this one, and he made no doubt about that one. Taking it over the left field wall. It is 2-1. to -one. Here comes Cliff Floyd with two outs. Floyd goes deep now to right. Looking up. We have a tie game. Cliff Floyd takes it out of the yard. Back-to-back -back homers for the Expos. It's Grissom and Floyd. Just when we were talking about how well Holly was pitching, he makes two mistakes in the zone, and we are tied now at two. Bottom of the eighth. Hurst back at the plate. He's already homered. Tim Scott, the pitcher for Montreal. There is a walk, so a leadoff walk for the... Phillies and Spud Davis has a chance now to try to move the runner at least. This is hit to center. Coming on over to make the play. Grissom's got it. One out. Hal Lee the hitter. That's hit to second. Nice play there. Relay to first. Double play turn. Nice play by the Expos defense. 4-6-3 there. So we'll move to the ninth. Reggie Grabowski, the pitcher. Larry Walker, the hitter. Tie ball game. <clears throat> and this is drilled up the middle. Walker starts the inning with a single. Will Cordero now at the plate. And Cordero will hit this one to third. Play will be made at first. The runner will advance. So Walker on second base. One out. We have Darren Fletcher. And now a new pitcher, it's Jack Burley. And this ball's hit the first. Nice scoop there by the first baseman. Hurst makes a beautiful play, so there's two outs. Runner on third, and Mike Lansing in a big spot. Lansing is going to drop this one in the right. It gets down. One run's going to score. And just like that, the Expos come from behind again and take the lead here in the ninth inning. A two-out hit by Lansing. 
hits a double. And now Von Bell coming on here to try to even add more if he can. He hits it to third. Ball's bobbled there. That error is going to cost him another run. A big error at third base. It is now 4-2 to two our score. Here's Grissom who's having a nice game. He's looking to add even more. He hits this one to right. That ball's got some lift on it. It's going to drop. Another run scores. Montreal opening it up here. 6-2. to two. What an end and flourish by the Expos. They've been doing it all series long. And now they're on the verge of ending the series. Two outs, two on. Bartell the hitter. Wetland looking to close things out here. And there's strike three. The Expos celebrating here at the Baker Bowl. They win game number five, six to two. Scoring all six runs in the final two frames, including four in the ninth inning. And putting an end to the Phillies and this series. Hats off to the Expos. The hype was real, folks. They are that good. They sure played like it. Ed Holly pitched great until the end. He deserved probably better, but just couldn't hold it. He allowed the two home runs in the eighth, and his bullpen let him down in the ninth. Don Hurst was two for three with two home runs in this one. And Pedro Martinez earlier had pitched decently, but he was in some trouble before his team rallied for him. Scott gets the win. Grabowski couldn't hold it. He gets the loss. And John Wetland gets his second save of the series. Four games to one. That's a wrap for Series 152. It is the Expos who get it done. For the Phillies, looking at some of the numbers, Hurst did have three home runs and hit 438 for the series. Big, big series for Hurst. Uh, definitely did his part. Lee hit 333. We have, see here Chuck Klein had three RBIs and two long balls. Uh, some of the pitching... Um, Ed Holly pitched well, 15 innings with a 3 ERA, but got a no decision on his part. And Grabowski struggled there, you can see, as well as Liska, two of the bullpen arms. Liska actually losing two games, and he uh, just wasn't the man to get the job done at the end of games. And almost all the Expo victories were late ones, come from behind wins, and that's what a bullpen can do for you. For the Expos, there you see Pedro actually had an RBI in the series, but it came down to players like Larry Walker, who hit 421. You see here Grissom drove in four, hit 304. Cliff Floyd at 286. And Will Cordero drove in five runs, including a crucial three-run bomb when he had his chance. John Wetland, a save, uh, two saves, I should say, and a win. Got the job done there. Pedro Martinez, 164, 14 Ks and 11 innings of work. Facero was good. Um, Ken Hill struggled in his start. Jeff Shaw also struggled but got a win. And the MVP, they gave it actually to the losing side. Uh, that's kind of rare, but that's what we see here. Don Hurst got it with his 430 the average and his five RBIs as well as his three long ones. But I'm sure Hurst will not take any solace in that with his team losing the series. Um, these impressive numbers, including a 1.063 slugging, uh, wasn't enough, not nearly enough in the series that ended in five games. So that's a wrap, folks. It's the Expos who were resilient, got the job done, and win Series 152. Uh, they do it fairly easily. Uh, not much drama on their end, just a matter if they would get a sweep or not but they get it done in five. So once again, the final in this series, the 1994 Montreal Expos overwhelmed the 1932 Philadelphia Phillies in five games. Series 152 is done. Out of the Park Baseball 20 is your presenter. Glad you could join us for this one. We look forward to seeing you again for 153. But Series 152 is history, and it's those Expos that get the win. So we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for joining us. Stay tuned for more.